The iconic stand mixer that inspired families to create memories across generations sits in a place of honor in the Smithsonian Institution Museum in Washington, D.C. as an American icon and still continues to inspire creativity and connects people and passions. The KitchenAid brand, delivering quality home appliances since 1919. And truly, from one of the biggest names in kitchen appliances in the world, we have brought you one of the best values. So get ready, because here comes our today's special. And there it is, the magic that KitchenAid brings to our kitchens. And just in time for the holidays, because this is the time when we create all those magic memories. And, and truly, I think a lot of times we may think of gifts when it comes to the holidays, but for most of us, our memories are of food. We're gonna help you make all of your favorite recipes now with truly not just one of the best kitchen appliances, one of the best kitchen appliances in the world. When it comes to KitchenAid, 100 years in business, but not only 100 years in business, innovating, giving us the tools we need, we're gonna give you their best seller. We're gonna give you their top of the line. This is the Artisan Series, and you're getting the one that everybody wants. These are the best selling features because you're getting that five quart mixing bowl right here. What does that mean? It means nine dozen cookies that you can make right here. Four loaves of bread. On top of that, we're also going to give you their most powerful in the tilt head, which is 325 watts of power. But then we're gonna get, make it interesting for you because normally when you order this, you're gonna get your main piece. You will get the traditional beater. You will get your dough hook, but we're gonna add and sweeten the deal a little bit more because now you're gonna get your flexible beater as well. So this is gonna give you that flex edge. That means it's really gonna scoop everything and, and help it mix in so much easier. The thing I love that we're including, not only are you gonna get your whisk, but I love the pouring shield. The pouring shield is absolutely included, not typically we're including it. This is an exclusive configuration with great color choices. And the other thing we're gonna do is give you six flex payments of $45. So our price is $269. Right off the bat, we're gonna save you $100. But then you can split it up on your credit card and pay $45, we'll ship it to you free. And if you know KitchenAid, you know that this is a fabulous, beautiful piece of equipment that has some weight to it. So it's nice to have that free shipping and handling. Let us go through the colors and I'm gonna walk over and introduce you to our special guest who is joining us. So these are the color choices you have. This is going to be, that was the white you looked at. This is the copper pearl, majestic yellow. If you want some fun in the kitchen, tangerine is available. This happens to be my favorite, that guava glaze. Empire rub, always, always our best seller. Ocean drive, if you like a turquoise blue, green apple is gonna brighten up that kitchen. We also have it in your classic, your contour silver, as well as an onyx black as well. So all the color choices still available at this point. I'm gonna introduce you to a chef. <laughs> who maybe you have seen her on the Cooking Channel, the Food Network. Monte Carlo is joining us, Hi. joining us, an accomplished chef on her own. I know one of your shows uh, you were seen on, Master Chef. Yes. And when it comes to being, I don't care if you're a Master Chef or a Home Chef or a Beginning Chef, this is going to make your life so much easier and so much better because when it comes to truly what sets the standard. This is the platinum standard no, yeah, when it is, comes to kitchen appliances. This is the Olympic athlete of right. all your kitchen appliances. I actually first got introduced to the KitchenAid Artisan Stand Mixer when I was competing on MasterChef, and I was a home cook at that time, and I realized immediately that the difference between winning a challenge and losing a challenge was saving time. And this saved me so much time. All of my recipes came out amazing in half the time. And that's what's so incredible. But look at all that we're giving you. I told you, uh, this is my the, favorite thing. Yeah. That the pouring shield's amazing. The look, pouring shield. You makes, can just dump flour in. Right. And, and it's not going to be all bowl. over me, the kids, the dog, the counter. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go right where you want it to. What makes KitchenAid so different from all the rest? 
I mean, let, let's talk about quality here. We're celebrating our 100 year birthday and there are people that still have KitchenAid stand mixers from 1919, from 100 years ago, that function perfectly. And because mm -hmm. the hub is universal, this little hub right here, all of our attachments, even if they were made last year, will fit into this hub, even on a machine that was made 100 years ago and work perfectly fine. And as you can see, I'm making a cookie dough right now. You, you, the holidays, sugar cookies are all about the holidays, right? Um, it can be really difficult to make a, a delicious cookie dough recipe because you have to cream butter. And creaming butter takes a lot of upper body strength. I don't mm -hmm. know about you, I don't work out. I don't have that kind of strength. <laughs> right. I don't. Not, and not it, high on my list. No, and it, it really it hurts. It's kind of a pain and you have to beat it for like 10, 15 minutes. You can create a perfect sugar cookie dough literally in two minutes in this kitchen stand mixer and it's as easy as pouring three ingredients in I did some sugar I did some beautiful vanilla some flour mm. and a, just a touch of salt to balance it out and look at this incredible dough um, little egg to mm -hmm. hold everything together it's so smooth and supple all of that butter has been creamed and do you know why we cream butter mm -mm. Okay, so the sugar crystals actually go into the butter and they create air pockets. So that's what makes your cookie rise. And if you don't cream your butter properly, you're gonna have a failure of a cookie. You don't wanna go to the holiday you're party. Have a cookie with... that's more like a paperweight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So if you really want a delicious, light, crisp cookie, you've mm -hmm. gotta cream perfectly. And there's no better way to cream that butter than with a KitchenAid stand mixer. Well, what we wanna do right now, if we could, is maybe give everybody a tour. You know, what, when, we, when we talk about KitchenAid, first of all, our value today, $269.99. Look at the retail value on this, $432. Yes, KitchenAid is out there. Yes, you can even find some of these colors some places. It's hard to find the colors. But what you're not gonna find is this exclusive configuration that we're giving you where we're including that pour shield, where we're including everything you need right down to that flexible beater as well. And now the five quart mixing bowl, this is your, your best selling size. The five quart fits so much. You could make nine dozen sugar cookies in the five quart. And I want to just point out, we use the flex edge beater in this five quart bowl. And as you can see, all of the dough got picked up from the sides because mm -hmm. the flex edge hugs the side of the bowl. So you don't have to worry about going in with your spatula and stopping everything that you're doing to push all of your ingredients down. It incorporates everything perfectly. So this one is a, an incredible attachment and I can't believe it comes with it. Usually you have to buy it separately, so that's a right. really great deal. Right, only here, only only through Curate, only through HSN are you gonna be able to get this exclusive deal. Okay, so this is where all the magic happens. All your attachments attach e either here or here, is that right? That's right, and as you see, it, they literally come off with a snap. But look at the and quality. They, and I mean, yeah, this and they is, go this on all with a snap, with just a twist. You lock it in, that wasn't hard at all. Now you've got the, your power at your fingertips. We're gonna start with a stir. What we're doing right now is we're creating a beautiful royal icing to decorate our cookies. You can't just have plain Jane no. sugar cookies. Of course not. But royal icing is also another one of those things that takes forever to make because you have to whip it into shape. So it's just egg whites and confection sugar. That's listen, it. Listen, listen, that, that's as close to purring right? as that's you exactly. get. I mean, the sound of quality that, that you get with your KitchenAid. And this is something we would love to hear from you. If you had a, if you own a KitchenAid, if you love your KitchenAid, please call us and let us know what you like about it because this is something that people feel passionate about. Yes. I mean, if there's one thing in your kitchen that really makes a difference, it's gonna be your stand mixer. Oh my gosh, as soon as I walk into somebody's kitchen, if I see that they have a KitchenAid stand then mixer. you already know who they yeah, are, right? I know, you're serious about what you're doing. You're mm -hmm. serious about your results. You don't have to be an everyday baker or an everyday chef to own a KitchenAid stand mixer. You just have to be serious about the results you right. get in your kitchen. And serious about buying something one time that's gonna last you year after year after year. I think somebody yes. at midnight called and said, how yes. long have they had their They their had 60, 60 years. 60 years. 60 years. 60 years. And they're buying new attachments for it. <laughs> I mean, that's, it still works that's for a lifetime. But that's all metal construction. I mean, listen to yeah. this. 
You're not gonna break that. That's not ever going to break. Right. When's the last time you saw a dough hook? Was it made of plastic? Yeah, and that's no let's, good. Let's face it, yeah, dough is tough. You need, it is. You need quality. Now, this, we're using our wire whip, and that's used to incorporate air into batters to make them light and, and beautiful. Um, and as you can see, this has been going for just a few seconds. We're at speed 10 right now. But you can still hear everything that I'm saying. This isn't a super loud machine. It sounds mm -hmm. perfect. We're going to stop it, and I want you to see how perfect that icing is, those peaks. Look at how glossy. Now that's how you know a really great royal icing is the gloss. You want that gloss. You don't want it to be matte. So to get that without having to do anything but push a button is pretty amazing. Right, and how many speeds does this have? This has 10 speeds. So it starts off with a stir, and you can stir you know, gently. You can make, we're gonna make a guacamole. You wanna stir that very gently. You don't mm -hmm. wanna destroy that guac. Um, but you can go all the way to this furious whip at 10. And again, just a lever. That's it, it's a done deal. Whoever invented this, genius. Mm -hmm. For real. And, and KitchenAid is, is not just setting the standard when it comes to the United States. I mean, this is a worldwide brand. This is used in kitchens all around the world. And that's why when you have the quality, when you have truly all that metal construction, and you're not just getting one of their, one of their regular little mixers, this is the Artisan Series. This is the 325 watts of power. This yes. is your five quart. This is the one that is their best seller at a price today of $269.99. Believe me, you buy this and you you understand the first time you use it why okay. why this is, is really considered uh, the best of the best. It's a game changer. The first time I used it on MasterChef was I was making pasta and I used to roll out my pasta by hand. I used their attachment that again, that goes right into the power hub and I rolled out a sheet of pasta, I think in like 30 seconds. <laughs> and it used to take me like 10 minutes because you really have to beat pasta into submission. I couldn't believe how much time I'd been wasting. And the results were incredible. It was so silky mm -hmm. and so easy to do. Right now we're gonna make bread. You know, a lot, I don't know if you go shopping for artisan bread. It's expensive. It's yeah. like six, seven dollars a loaf. All you need to make artisan bread at home is flour, salt, a little yeast, and oil. That is it. You have those ingredients in your pantry. Get your KitchenAid stand mixer. Put the ingredients in this beautiful five-quart bowl. It can hold up to four loaves of bread. And attach your dough hook. The dough hook is coated with nylon, so none of the dough sticks. It's easy to clean. You can put this in your dishwasher. It's dishwasher safe. Look at this dough already forming. It's been on for, what, a minute? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stop it so you can see, again, how easy it is to stop. And this is a tilt head. The tilt head is incredible because this is a heavy machine. This isn't going anywhere on your counter and you want something with weight on it when you're dealing with doughs because otherwise it's gonna, have you ever had anything kind of jump mm -hmm. around? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, when you overfill your washing machine and just jumps around. Right, kind of <laughs> dances a little bit. <laughs> you don't want that on your kitchen counter. You don't want all your ingredients to end up on the floor. So as you can see, this has been on for just about 30 seconds. This dough is already starting to form. I'm just gonna go ahead and scrape the bowl because so far they haven't invented a dough hook with a flex edge beater attachment right on it, because that would be amazing. Um, <laughs> look at this. Yeah. It's already coming together. We're gonna put it on for just another couple of seconds, lock it in, and we're gonna go with a little bit higher of a speed. We're gonna put it on a six. Okay. That's about a medium speed, a medium high. And you're gonna see how it's gonna start to, it's already pulled the ingredients together and now it's gonna start to knead that dough. It's gonna form a ball on its own. This would take hours if you're doing oh this my goodness. You know, by hand. But let's go out to Rhode Island. Catherine is calling in, joining us this morning. Hi, Catherine. Happy holidays Hi. from Alice Hi. and Monty. Hi. Happy holidays to you too, ladies. Thank I understand. you for having me here today. Oh, what a treat to have you here. And I understand that you've been making your treats with Kish KitchenAid for a long time. Yes, I have. My first one was, a, I, guess, I don't know if that's all they offered at the time, but back in the 1970s, I bought a white, and I still have it, and it wa works beautifully, but because we have a second vacation home now, last year I treated oh. myself through you to the red, the apple red one yes. um, for my primary home, and I moved the white one to my vacation home, and they both still work beautifully. We use them <laughs> all the crazy. time. Um, I have to tell you that I must have influenced my daughters-in-law as they were coming into the family because in both of my daughters-in-law cases, the only thing, the first thing they requested for their wedding registries was 
a KitchenAid stand mixer and my cheesecake recipe that I make in the KitchenAid stand mixer. <laughs> so that I, I know that the um, name speaks for itself. Obviously, the quality speaks for itself, mm -hmm. but they are just wonderful. They're everything you ladies are saying and more. Have you used it with them together? That's what I really love. That wasn't a surprising thing for me when I got my KitchenAid stand mixer for my home kitchen, mm -hmm. was that it wasn't just about creating delicious recipes. It was about bringing my family into the kitchen with me to cook with me because it's so much fun and it makes everything easy. Do they cook with you? Absolutely. Because we're having Thanksgiving together next week. And of oh, course, I'm that's awesome. Because I don't know if they show up without it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, your KitchenAid is going to get a good workout for Thanksgiving, I'm sure. Catherine, Absolutely. love that you called us. Thank you so much. Our best to you and your family and happy holidays. So she was saying, let me get this right, in the 70s? Yes. She, so we're, we're looking at... close to 50 years. Almost 50 years, okay? Almost 50 years she's been using it. It still works, for heaven's sakes. That's the incredible construction of the stand mixer. They don't cut corners yeah. at KitchenAid. And it's made in the USA, in mm -hmm. Greenville, Ohio. Human hands touch every part of this mixer before it goes in the box. When you get the box, there's no big to do. I literally opened one up yesterday from the box. You just pull it out and you plug it in. You put your attachment in and you are ready to cook. Right, there's no mystery. There's no like this and that. You know, it's, it's a really straightforward piece of machinery. And I call it machinery. You can call it an appliance, whatever you want. When you have the metal construction that you have in KitchenAid, when you have something that's lasting, for 40, 50 years. That's what's incredible. Look at that. Yeah. It is so perfectly formed. And all you did was add what, four ingredients? That's that was it. it. Salt, flour, a little bit of water, right. some oil, and you've got a touch of rosemary in there because we're gonna make a boulet with this. That's a boulet, it's a French loaf. It, boulet just means round ball. Even though, so it's a beautiful loaf to bring to the table for the holidays. Yeah. Um, just imagine. What that's gonna look like. Imagine what that's gonna smell like. Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh, yes. Seeing is one thing, but smelling fresh bread, bread baking. Yeah, it transforms this your is household. For all, you, you will not believe, you know, I, I think especially when it comes to KitchenAid, you leave this on your counter. It's why it's why they do it in colors now, because this is really one of those, it's a statement piece. It is. It's a statement piece they for, have it at the Smithsonian. For, your, for your home. It's, do they really? It's, yeah, they have it at the Smithsonian. They have it at the, uh, the Museum of Modern Art in San Francisco. This is, this is considered a piece of art. It's an iconic American design. <laughs> I know, and I it looks that. pretty gorgeous crazy. on your countertop. It really does, but it's the way it works. This is gonna work for you, and it's gonna work for you every single day. Mm -hmm. Whether you're making your sweet potatoes, or your, your fresh bread, or your cookies, or even guacamole. I wanna, if I can, um, I'm gonna ask my producer if it's okay. Can I walk down the colors? I know we keep seeing that color slide, but I think if you if you could see it just right here on the counter, I think it makes a difference. Red, our, our number one bestseller. This is, oh, yeah. this is it. it is that, that beautiful, it's really holiday red. It's a Christmas red. So you've got the red choice. This is going to be your guava glaze. I love the guava I love glaze. The guava glaze as, as well. This is my, my favorite. If you want to pop a color, this is going to be your tangerine. If you want to add something that's uh, just a really beautiful look, we have the majestic yellow. It's like a little lemon chiffon. I know, it reminds me of like a 50s kitchen. It, right, it yeah. does. It looks like a 50s kitchen. This looks like a fun kitchen. Yeah. This is the green apple that you're seeing right here. This is going to be your copper pearl. Now, this one has a different finish to it, okay? It's got a pearlized finish to it, so it, it's not going to be that shiny finish. It's more of a matte look to it. This is your Ocean Drive, just like Miami Beach. It's got <laughs> a lot of color to it. And then this is the other one that's going to be your white, but this white is pearlized. I don't know if you can see it on, on your camera, but it is pearlized. So it's a really almost like a matte look to that as well. We're going back shiny for the onyx black. And then if you want just the classic, this is the classic contour silver right here. $269.99 only today. Are we doing it at $100 off only today? Are you getting the six flex payments? That's as many flex payments as we do. That's, that's maxed out. And we're going to ship it right to your front door absolutely free. What are we cooking up now, Ms. Okay, Bonnie? so you know everyone always asks you to bring a side to their holiday party. Yeah. And sometimes it's kind of a little bit, a little bit of a pain. You're like, what? I don't have the time to make a side. So this is a great idea for a side that you can make and freeze. And and then just pop it in the oven when it's time to go to your party 30 minutes ahead of time. It's canned 
sweet potatoes. It doesn't get any simpler than that. You just dump them straight from the can into the KitchenAid stand mixer bowl. You lock it in, and then you're gonna put this on a slow mo down too. You so am I locking in, I'm locking in the um, when you, attachment? Yeah, when you know. You, when you lock, lock this it in, in, it locks in the tilt head so okay. it doesn't move. Okay. And this is gonna speed up your attachment to whatever speed you want. It can go from a slow stir to a furious whip. We're doing a number two right now, which is just a little bit faster than a stir. As you can see, I'm gonna stop it. This potato's already mashed, mm -hmm. but because it came out of a can, I want to add a little fat to it. That way, if there's a metallic aftertaste to it, we can be uh, elevated with this butter. And you can literally just push the butter right in. That butter is not room temperature, it's cold. Right. That doesn't matter because the beater is gonna break right. it up for the you. The KitchenAid can handle 325 Absolutely. watts of power. Yeah. Uh, so again, we're gonna lock in the tilt head, and then we're gonna even go a little faster on this. Right. We're gonna do like a six. Okay. That butter's already broken up, and you are ready to go. You can take this, and again, you can do seven pounds of potatoes mm -hmm. in this five-quart bowl. That's a huge amount of potatoes. You can break those up, put them in Ziploc bags. Seven pounds of potatoes? Seven pounds. Okay, I just, I just got the visual. You know, when you go buy the <laughs> 10 pounds of potatoes, it's three yeah. quarters of that. That's huge. I'll fit in this bowl. Look at that. So you're gonna, look again, this attachment comes off real easy, and... You can put that into the dishwasher. So all the attachments, what about the bowl? The, the bowl, bowl is really easy too. You just twist it on and off. So okay. you twist it and it's off and then you twist it and Does it's on. Does that go in the dishwasher or should I yes, hand wash no, that? Yes, no, no, it goes, everything goes in the dishwasher mm -hmm. except for the whip. Okay. The wire whip does the not wire go whip, in the dishwasher. You want to hand wash that. Yeah, you want to hand wash that. All right. But look at this. Look at the depth of that. Can I you mean, see that? Awesome. It's just beautiful. This is this is the, the five quart capacity, the 325 watts of power. It's, this is the best seller in the kit. This is the best seller in the entire KitchenAid line. Because I mean, it's the that's workhorse. What's so, right. This is the one that you want. This is the one you've been waiting for. But only today are you getting this incredible value. And this is this is I think where where KitchenAid really shines is it can do anything from the dough, yes. like the perfect dough, to working with avocados. That's what I love about it because it's not, it's a workhorse. Yes, it has so much power. You can totally knock it out of the park with the dough in just a couple of minutes, but it can also be really gentle. And mm -hmm. sometimes you need that gentle mixing. With avocados, you don't want to beat them up too much. You still want to have a little bit of texture in there. So we've got our flex edge beater. Again, we're going to lock in our tilt head and we're just going to put it on one. We're going to make a guacamole in under a minute. I'm going to add in some pepper, some chopped onion, and then just a pinch of salt, not too much because it, the chips have salt on them, so you don't want to oversalt. And then we're going to add acidity so the avocado doesn't oxidize. In other words, it's not going to turn that yucky brown. Mm -hmm. You don't want to eat that, and neither do your guests. So we're going to add this lime juice to help prevent oxidation, and this is done. Have you ever made guacamole that fast in your home? I just yeah, can't get over it. Like this, I right? know. I just, How long does that I last? I love it. I love it so much. So we're going to unlock the tilt head again. Look how smooth that is. That mm -hmm. is really smooth. Mm -hmm. And this comes right out. And you've got guacamole. Perfect. Ready, ready to serve. Ready to go right on a chip because, oh, uh, love guacamole. <gasps> Look at that. But do you see how everything is evenly mixed in it? Everything is just perfect. But you do not have avocado puree, no. if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't like overmixed avocado. Me neither. Yeah. It's nice to have that little bit of texture, but, yes. but with 10 different speeds, then you can go all the way from stir up to uh, fast whip, right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's so easy. There's no excuse not to be cooking. Mm -hmm. There really isn't. You know, I have a nine-year-old boy who I love so much. And it is hard to get a nine-year-old boy away from Minecraft right now. It is a difficult <laughs> challenge. But anytime I say, hey, buddy, we're going to be making something with the KitchenAid. We're going to be making pancakes or cookie dough or yeah. batters. He's all in. And so are his buddies. Mm -hmm. that, and that's what I love is like this beats out Minecraft. You know you got something good. Yes, you do. Uh, listen, today you can put this on six flex payments. If you're new shopping with this, it just means you split it up on your credit card. But if you own... 
a KitchenAid. Please call us. We just heard from a caller. She's had it since the 70s. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was bell bottoms. Okay. <laughs> they're, right. they're coming back. <laughs> oh good. Well, <laughs> you just wait long enough, right? But in the meantime, her KitchenAid is still working. The reason she got another one is because she got an, another house and she didn't want to take it back and forth. It's the quality of what you're getting. I love that the attachments are metal. Yes. Okay. Typically, nowadays, everything's all plastic. I know, and it metal breaks. Metal attachments. That's why these last four decades, and that's why people invest in KitchenAid, not just in this country, around the world. Yes. And we're going to uh, go out to the phones and say hello to Tracy, calling in from South Carolina. Oh, I has love. Has ordered hers in our number one bestseller, that beautiful red. Tracy, welcome to HSN. Hi, how are you? We are great. What are you going to be cooking up this uh, holiday season? Well, probably cupcakes with my grandkids. Oh, oh, isn't it so awesome making cupcakes with kids? They have so much yes. fun. Yes. Yes, I have seven of them, and then we have a five-year-old son, so it will be fun. Wow, you and are busy. we have wanted a KitchenAid for some time now, so mm -hmm. luckily, thanks to EasyPay, we are able to get it. So glad you said that. Because you know what? I think a lot of us right now don't really want to hit a credit card with $269, even though it is a great value. You don't really want to do that today. You don't have to. What, $45, and we're going to ship it to you absolutely free, Tracy. Kind of makes, makes a nice difference, doesn't it? Tracy, oh, do yes, you ever make carrot does. cake? Oh, that looks good. Yeah, <laughs> I'm making carrot cake. I want to tell you about my secret ingredient. It's a little bit of pineapple. Really? Yeah, a little oh, bit of really? pineapple is going to tenderize. Pineapple has enzymes mm -hmm. that tenderize your crumbs. So if you want a nice soft bite, a tender bite, yeah. add a little pineapple. It doesn't add too much sweetness and it adds an incredible depth of flavor to your cakes. Oh, You're okay. welcome. Well, thank you. You're welcome. You no, know, I love it and when thank I thank you for my kitchen aid. You are so welcome. Can't wait to hear back from you after you get it home. Enjoy those grandkids and just, you know, count your blessings. You've got a lot to count. Thank you, Seven. Tracy. Isn't that awesome? I know. I mean, imagine what her kitchen is going to smell like. Okay, oh, imagine gosh. having all those cookies, all those grandkids. And all the memories. And all, all the, the memories they're going to make. Because that's what, they, that's what you think of. When you think of the holidays, I don't remember a gift I got, you know, when I was little or this or that. I remember my, my grandmother making her special mashed potatoes. i got to give you a hug. Yes. Oh, that's the truth. That, that's that's the about truth. the memories. It's, it's about your food memories with your family. It absolutely is. That's what I'm most passionate about is this really changed my life yeah. when I got this and I brought it into my home kitchen because I have made so many incredible memories with my son. I, I'll get choked up talking about it. Yeah. I love him so much. And th these are going to be his first memories of cooking with his mommy. I think we mm -hmm. had a, a picture last night of us cooking together. Those are literally his first memories of cooking with mommy are standing and looking over the KitchenAid sand mixer at the cookie dough being made and just waiting for the beater to come off so he can go ahead and lick it up and get it all clean. So, But, you know, that's, that's why people invest in KitchenAid. They're going to see this this year and next year. And in five years, and 10 years, and 20 years, and we heard from somebody oh, 50 years, and there you are There's right my there. baby boy. What a cutie. Look how serious he is about that cookie dough. <laughs> <laughs> he is yeah. so focused. He is so focused. But that's, this is, I love, and I have the 